And here at home, no direct impacts from Fiona, but we are tracking some rain for the final hours of summer. Final hours of summer. Here we are. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is back with the next weather forecast. Right. Less than 24 hours mm. now mm. until fall begins. It's coming tomorrow evening, 9.03 p.m., the autumnal equinox, and a big shift in the weather pattern as fall arrives. But first, some showers and storms to get through. Let's take a look outside right now. It's quiet for now, but tomorrow is going to be an unsettled day, really from start to finish. There will be a few showers around early in the day and then a better chance around midday, right around the noon hour, the lunch hour. Best chance for a few thunder showers. Right now, temperatures are still in the 70s. It is still mainly clear in Philadelphia. Winds are out of the southwest, five miles per hour out ahead of that cold front. But the cold front brings showers tomorrow, again, especially from the morning through mid afternoon, and then a breezy, chilly start to fall starting tomorrow night and continuing into the weekend. Now, the weekend does warm up just slightly. It is a pleasant fall weekend, but we are continuing to keep a close eye on the tropics. Here's the general setup here. You can see the cold front, which extends all the way back through the Midwest and the Central Plains. You can start to see the cloud deck associated with Hurricane Fiona here out over the Atlantic. A little bit of a squeeze play. What's happening is this front is going to sweep off the coast and help drive Fiona further out to sea. So we have this front to thank for that crisp fall weather that's coming and also for diverting some of Fiona's circulation away from the eastern seaboard. Tonight, 68, a stray shower possible late but a better chance comes tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms, especially through about mid-afternoon, the high 77 degrees. And I want to take you through it one more time. Just timing-wise, you can see tomorrow morning, we have one batch of showers moving in about 5 a.m. That one will start to fizzle, but the cold front will generate another line of showers and storms right around midday. This is the 1130 in the morning. Pockets of rain in the city, perhaps a gusty thunderstorm down across southern Delaware or the Jersey Shore. That will continue down the shore until about 2 or 3 o'clock. Then after 4 p.m., this clears the coast. Skies clear, but the wind really does start to pick up. As far as severe weather is concerned, most of the region should not be facing any severe weather except a marginal risk for extreme southern Cape May County and down into Sussex County, Delaware. Here's the latest on Fiona. Still a strong category four hurricane, still with winds at 130 miles per hour. This storm is going to just zip by Bermuda. You can see the cone of concern does not include Bermuda. It will pass far enough west that the worst of the impacts should stay away, but still heavy downpours, and this is going to kick up a gusty wind for our area as well. High pressure builds in. Fiona moves into Atlantic Canada, and the winds really start to pick up. So it's a blustery start to fall. Showers and storms tomorrow. Then we clear it out and cool it down. Friday's highs only in the 60s. The wind's going to make it feel even colder than a beautiful fall weekend. The Eagles are not at home this weekend, but we're celebrating them anyway on Sunday. If you're headed down to the game, 79 degrees. Monday, just a chance for a few rain showers. Eugene, Jessica, back over to you. All right, Kate, thanks so much.